What's up YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and today I'm actually not bringing you guys a gameplay, I'm bringing you my competitive class setups as of Friday of the first week of release, so not very many days into it, this these classes will very definitely change, may not even be the same weapons in a few weeks, so I will be doing an update video later. But for now, these are my setups, keep in mind that I play Slayer on my team, sometimes support, so this is not for OBJs, these classes would probably not work for you very well at all so just keep that in mind and also I'm pretty sure that all the strike packages are gonna be banned I don't feel like killstreaks are gonna be allowed in this game but we'll, we'll have to see not all the rule sets are set in stone so things will definitely change but this first one here is my AR smoke class I got the SC on it with the reflex and foregrip and I got the little blue dot sight just because I like blue better than red um, and then I've got a smoke grenade and then I got stalker quick draw dead silence and focus um, Focus and Stalker are standard for any Assault Rifle class, for me, for sure. And then Quick Draw and Dead Silence is on every single one of my classes, no matter what. Um, the Smoke, th this this class here, it, you, you may have noticed I don't have Muzzle Break. That combined with having Smoke, um, th th this class is meant more for close range assault rifle m more more like medium range but i mean it's it's where i can help distract enemies even sometimes get on the the objective a little bit so in domination maybe help cap b flag a little bit or something of the sort it's just a little bit closer maybe a little closer map or whatever uh the next one is my main ar and it's got a stun this is, I, this should be ar slay but i mean ar stun works as well this one i have the muzzle break and foregrip and concussion and then the perks are the same as the previous one um, this one, you you may think that you need the red dot sight, but really guys, if you can get used to the iron sights, it's going to save you so much, because then you don't have to have the three attachments or anything, and you can just have more perks. Um, I feel like the iron sights are fine on this gun. I feel like this is a very, very strong class right now. Um, and of, of course, if the MSBS was allowed, that would be in here, but it is not, because as far as I know, it is banned. So if that, if that was a question in your minds, that's why. Next one is my sub slayer class. Um, I'm using right now the MTAR with muzzle break and foregrip. This is a very greedy class. Um, for perks, I've got agility, marathon, quick draw, dead silence, and focus. This is a very, very greedy class. It is meant for me to be able to try and stay alive, move around the map very quickly. Um, you know, I, I could potentially at some point replace agility with uh, attack resist or blast shield or whatever they're calling it in this game if that is allowed in mlg variant but we don't know yet because that rule set hasn't been released only gb variant has so that that could be updated um this is my sub rushing class this is meant for a very quick push in s and d or a blitz game I, I could definitely see me using this in blitz especially on a map like freight where everything's really close um, this one's also fairly greedy. I've got Marathon, Steady Aim, Quick Draw, Dead Silence, and Focus. Next one is my Break class. This is definitely more of a support OBJ. You, you, if you were an OBJ, you could get away with this class. Um, I've got Muzzle Break and Foregrip, and then I got a Simtex and Concussion on, and then Marathon, Quick Draw, Dead Silence, Focus. Uh, like I said, this one isn't quite as much as... It, it's not quite as greedy. It's still kind of greedy because, you know, I got marathon and dead silence on there and everything then those aren't necessary for the game right now i mean dead silence is pretty big but I, I feel like i need it on every single one of my classes so this is just one that can be a little bit more in your face class just kind of pushing up or clearing out like a bomb site or something you know stun check or uh just throw a simtex over the wall real quick just to make sure he's not diffusing or anything you know that sort of thing then my very last class is one that i will probably use maybe one percent of the time um i don't snipe very much but if i do i will probably use this class and i'm gonna go in depth with it a little bit here so i feel like this is probably the best sniper right now i've messed around with all of them a little bit but i'm not an expert on snipers that is for sure um but right now i'm using the chrome lined and the armor piercing attachments and that gives increased damage and uh penetration through walls so very very powerful sniper setup there um and then i've got a good secondary here this one is the low recoil and highest fire rate in its class and it's a semi-automatic pistol i have 
a fairly good trigger finger, so this is very good for me. And then I've got the muzzle brake, which gives increased damage. Um, I don't have any lethal or tacticals. And then for perks, I've got ready up, reflex, quick draw, dead silence, and focus. And the reason I'm using ready up and reflex is I need to be able to swap weapons and come out of sprinting very, very quickly because... You know, if I come around a corner and, oh, close range engagement, I need to be able to switch to my pistol and actually be able to win that gunfight. And, and or, if I've got my sniper out, I need to be able to just come up and pop off a shot really quick. Like, I don't want to have to be really slow out of that because, you know, I mean, snipers don't kill that much quicker than the other guns in this game. And sometimes even slower if it's a two shot. So, you know, it, I, I need to be able to zoom in very quickly and react very quickly. So... That is all my classes right now, guys. Um, this is used for, if you didn't know what the, the game modes are right now, um, S&D, Blitz, and Domination. That is still possible to change, though, of course. Um, some people are thinking they're just, they might go down to just S&D. Some are thinking just S&D and Domination. Some are thinking just S&D and Blitz. And some are thinking all three. I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue yet. We'll have to see. I don't really like... How it's set up right now. I kind of wish that we had S and D and CTF. You, you could get rid of hardpoint if you had to, but of course that's not even in this game. So I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But that th these are my classes. I'll, I'll go through them slowly one more time so you guys can see them. And that that's that's pretty much it. it. Just if you have if you guys haven't noticed that background behind my character is pretty awesome. Uh, that's the one you get for making a clan. I, I like it a lot, and so does the rest of my team. So, yeah, that's all my classes for you guys. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.